Hello there, this is Caius. I think we're starting to vlog now. This is something new, something I'm just trying out. We're just gonna see how it goes, but currently I'm in my backyard. Oh, this is a patio. But anyways, I'm in my patio, my private patio in Washington, DC. I just moved here about a month ago and I'm loving it so much. I'm gonna have to give y'all an apartment tour at some point. But yeah, I just, I'm out here because I'm working from home right now. I'm a research assistant slash program manager for this project. We're researching asthmatic children who live in public housing within Washington, DC. And we're just trying to ensure that there's like policies that are actually being implemented. But anyways, I just left my meeting that I had with my team and we just kind of set the tone for the week and what things are coming up. Things are going well. I have my meeting notes right here. So I'm gonna have to send out an email in a minute, but today I have another meeting coming up at 12 here in two minutes. This is about generative AI. I think it's very innovative and we're just gonna see how it goes. For the day, all I have planned is to get out this meeting, send out this email. Then I have to go to the Kennedy Center this afternoon for a rehearsal for Richard Smallwood Tribute. I think it's his birth, it might be his birth, I don't know, child. I just know that it's Juneteenth week. I'm ready to turn up for Juneteenth. Oh yeah, also Marla's here with me and Mitty. I love working from home back here. It's so cute. It's like, I love this space because it's not my dream space, but it's nice. Hey, hey baby. Hey, Marlo. So I just finished my meeting for the day. So, um, what's wrong? It's currently 1.25 p.m. But I have some admin work that I have to do as well, like sending out emails to my team and everything. We just made a lot of progress on the progress report for the generative AI study. We're gonna meet tomorrow, kind of finalize that project and move on to the next thing. I'm about to go get ready, eat some breakfast, and then I'm gonna make my way over to the Kennedy Center for our rehearsal. Little mittens, little mittens just chilling. What is this on your thing? She needs a new collar. So I, what, what, what? All that attitude and for what? Hey, Marlo. Sit. Give me some. Give me some. Shake. No. Shake. Thank you. I use this because he chewed up my extension cord that I used out here. So that's what we're doing right now. It's a little ghetto, but I'm gonna get another one soon. Okay, I'm back for just a second to explain something. I just graduated from Howard University with my master's in social work. Now that I'm graduated, I'm still like engaged on this research project because I'm nearing the end and I've been on it for a long time. And I'm also writing a part of the article that's gonna be published because of the research study. So like I'm still engaged on the project, but right now I'm project manager. So I like coordinate events and planning logistics and all that stuff. My Howard email was through Google. Google. Ever since I started the program, it was through Gmail. But like now, they changed it to where it's now through Office. I didn't know that they made the change, right? So I was just checking in my Gmail account. I was like, okay, I'm not getting any emails, whatever. I'm cool, I'm chilling. But then my supervisor was like, hey, I emailed you a few days ago. You didn't get back to me. Like, what's going on? Then I was like, wait, I didn't get any email from you. Then I tried to log into my computer again. No, I was working from home. And that's whenever it kicked me out and I had I'm talking here and you are just being so rude. But it kicked me out of the Gmail and I had to like log back in. I tried to log in and said, you actually have to contact your service provider because your account isn't eligible, blah, 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 blah. That's whenever I had to call ECS. I was like, hey, I'm trying to log into my Gmail. Like, can y'all help me out? And he was like, oh yeah. So actually we just switched your account to office. When were you going to tell me that? <laughs> like, and then I went back and I saw that I did have an email that I didn't read. So it was my fault. But anyways, I missed a whole interview that I had for a job, uh, but I followed up with that person and we had an interview later in the week. But now I was trying to plan and coordinate things for the team. I was like, okay, y'all just respond to the calendar invite so I can know if you're available or not. And I'll plan accordingly based on your schedule, all this other stuff. I sent it out like last week and nobody like really responded to the calendar invite. So I was like, okay, how am I gonna know which y'all are gonna be available for? This morning in the meeting, I was like, hey, just a reminder, make sure I respond to the calendar invite. And you know, that's my way of knowing if you're gonna be available or not. So then I thought in my mind, I was like, okay, I'm going to go and send it to my Gmail account just to see how it works, how it operates. I sent it to my personal email, I accepted it on my personal email, and then I went back to my Outlook and it still says didn't respond. That's telling me that whenever they press yes, it doesn't send me a notification. So where these people probably have been saying, like, yes, I can't attend this event. And I've been like badgering them, like, hey, y'all need to respond to my calendar invite. Like, y'all don't like me, like what? No, but um, I just sent a text to them. I was like, hey, so sorry. I realized it was a technical difficulty or whatever. So I have to find another way of trying to document just to see if people are available. That is so stupid. Like, I don't even like Office for real. Like, I'm a Gmail Google suite baddie. Like, I like the way the calendar looks. I like the way that the, that the mail inbox looks as well. Like, it's just so much better than Office, but I'm. I'm trying to get used to office because like I got to work with it now. We'll just see. So you remember how I said 
So you remember how I said that I was going to go get ready? It's currently 2.14 and I'm still sitting here. I was doing administrative work, but I am about to go get ready because I just realized that I have to be at the Kindy Center at 3.30. Might be a little late because I take a little bit to get ready, but I'm about to go walk Marlo. I won't get back home until after 10 p.m. I want to let him run around, but like the thing is I let him run around and like I said earlier, he chewed up my extension cord literally while I was home. My couch currently has teeth marks in the legs because he decided to chew on them whenever he has a lot of chew toys. So I wasn't very happy about that, but now he's on punishment of going back to his crate whenever I leave the house. Me and Marlo are on our walk, taking him and he's sniffing every single thing. Every single thing, all the time, always stopping. A five minute walk takes about 15 with him. Oh, I do want to tell y'all a little bit about Pride Weekend and everything, because that was not this past weekend, but it was the weekend before. I didn't put anything on social media, but I'll put some pictures, you know, and some clips and some stuff that happened over the weekend. Um, I spent a lot of time with my friends. I love my friends so much. They're just so amazing. And the whole friend is black? Not for real. Thank you. He hasn't even stopped yet, so I don't know if he's gonna potty or not, but at the end of the day, that's on him because he had the opportunity. He's not being a good steward of his time, right? The last time he had the accident that was in the house was whenever I got back from Colombia. I'm sweating. We made it back home. That was like a little five minute walk around the block and I'm already sweating. Anyways, Marlo's about to eat and I'm about to go get ready. I will see y'all whenever I have the fit on. Well, here's the fit. I got ready, brushed my teeth, put Marlo up, fed him his food, and now we're good to go. So now we're at the door. We just made it to the 80 bus. We're gonna go to Metro Center and then we're gonna get on the silver blue or orange line to go to Foggy Bottom. But I just took a survey for the bus. Um, I don't know, I think about me, I love BC bus systems. I'm walking to the Metro Center station, but I have to come on here and record because I just almost got ran over by a nigga on the scooter. We're leaving Foggy. We're leaving Foggy Bottom right now. I'm on the Candy Shuttle. Candy Shuttle. I can't speak. Stop, you brain. We're on the Kennedy Center Shuttle. Well, yes. And we're heading to the Candy Center for the rehearsal. Thank you. I wasn't able to bring y'all into the Kennedy Center with me and record inside the rehearsal just because of rehearsal etiquette. But I got there around 4.15. It started at 3, so I came a little bit late, but I didn't miss much. We were just getting started with the first piece as I walked in. I sat down, I got myself acclimated, and I engaged within the rehearsal process. It was a concert in honor of Juneteenth and the 75th birthday of Richard Smallwood. The orchestra was conducted by Grammy-winning producer Dr. Henry Payne III, and the choir included Dewey State University Choir, the Howard Gospel Choir, and Richard Smallwood's ensemble. All vision. Gospel stars like Dorinda Clark Cole, Marette Brown Clark, and Pastor Marvin L. Winans were a part of the concert. It's really cool being able to share the stage and meet legendary recorders and artists at events like this. And we out. We oh. just made it out of the rehearsal concert hall stage door. Yes. And we're about to go get food here with my girl, Hi. Gabby. Hey, we're just taking a quick break. <laughs> we are going to go get some food and we're going to come back for the rehearsal at 7. to go and finish our last half of rehearsal. It is almost 7 p.m. and we're slated to be here until 9.30 or 10. We're gonna go back out. We're gonna finish our rehearsal strong. I still didn't have any time to like actually pull out my computer and do the work that I want to do. So that might just have to be a task for tonight, but we'll see. I will see you on the other side. Hello. back home it is currently 10 32 p.m it was a long day it was a very long day i was just so tired in rehearsal i still didn't even get to send out my emails for my work stuff hey buddy hi um i didn't send out my emails but that's fine i'm literally gonna put it off until tomorrow it was a lot going on because it was like the first dress rehearsal and the only dress rehearsal and i i'm usually at one time to think i just didn't have it in me today 
And that's okay. Like, it's a good reminder just to, like, take things slow with yourself. Like, it is not that serious at the end of the day. Like, who cares? Well, I mean, don't do it for everything. But, you know, you can take some breaks whenever you need to, is what I'm saying. I'm about to go shower. I'm about to do some self-care because I need it because I have a very busy day tomorrow, too. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. See y'all soon.